Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> what was that? I'm Tanner. I'm Nick. And uh, this is Witty Banter. This is where uh, we get together once a week and uh, record a podcast. Sometimes we have guests on. Sometimes it's just us. But uh, this is our talk show. So I hope you enjoy it. So, um, if you watched a few weeks ago, we uh, covered the topic of aliens. Well, we promised Bigfoot and we did not deliver. Right. Well, um, we, we've had a lot going on, so now we are catching up on this topic. Uh, so, this week we're covering Bigfoot. So, Nick, uh, with this, just like the aliens... I um, had one very convincing I want to hear argument. I'm excited. Um, okay, so a lot of people like Bigfoot is. There's different types of Bigfoots all around the world. Let's let's be for. I will, I will make I will, I will make one thing though. How interesting is now aliens? You have like you know that really didn't get that popular from back in the day. And if, if you right. compare them, they all look different. But almost every society has a Bigfoot. Has a type of Bigfoot. That's right. Of Bigfoot. Now, I'm going with like the um, the North American Bigfoot. Because that's Not where we're from. Even, like the Yeti and all that stuff. Well, that's where we live. So. Right, exactly. So, Our um, culture. The most convincing that I heard, and it's it's still a little out there, was um, before like Christopher Columbus came over and we like came into America... That you know the the Native Americans were here, and they were having like rituals and things, and that maybe during one of those rituals, maybe the um, something crossed over, and crossed that over, and that thing was the Bigfoot. Now, hang on. What happened to I, a big ape man well, that's well, running around? That, that Bigfoot is actually a demon. From the other side, and that's why there's been hunters, and they're like, they have Bigfoot in his scope, and all of a sudden, he just disappears. Because Bigfoot can walk through the dimensions, he can come into this reality and leave it so at a whim. You're telling me that Bigfoot is a Magic the Gathering planeswalker? No! <laughs> he does look like that beast guy, though, I don't remember his name, Garouk? Is Garouk his name? I don't know. Um, anyways, but there are people in this world that believe that Bigfoot is a demon that can walk in and out of this reality. It's my mic on. As long as it says camera. Yes. That Bigfoot can walk <laughs> in and out of this reality at a whim as he wants. That's why people put him in a scope or he's walking down the road and they're like, what was that? And he's gone. <laughs> Magically disappeared because he, he like faded out into the other world. Into the other world. Yeah. That there's like a whole nother world or a whole nother plane with like Bigfoots. Big feet. <laughs> big with feet. big feet. <laughs> Would it be Bigfoots or Big Feet? Uh, big feet. I like Big Feet. <laughs> big feet. And in this other big world. Feet. As far as the eye can see. There's a ton of Big Feet. And they're all like you know, having little family Big Feet. You know what they're saying, don't you? The humans. The, the, there's humans over there. There's no. We're talking about the alien. Not that. No. We're talking about the big feet. <laughs> the big feet. The big feet. Oh yeah, they're fictional dimension. Coming in and out of the dimension, and you were talking about the big feet are over there, like the humans are demons. They're coming across. <laughs> I gotta be my nerdy conspiracy theorist. <coughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. So Quit that is. In the mirror. That is. It's hard, dude. I'm right there. Like, like everybody there. thinks he's looking at me. He's actually staring at himself. There's a mirror. Right there, so I can see how door I'm looking at my so. hair. I need a haircut. It looks horrible. Anyways, that's why I wear a hat all the time. Anyways, what do you think? What do you think about I the big feet? I don't believe in You don't believe in big feet? Believe okay, in let's go away from, like, that's the most convincing one that I've heard. The most convincing one you have is he's a demon from another dimension. What's he doing? Whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just here to fuck with the humans. Yeah. <laughs> you can catch me on camera. I'm okay, so, so... The, the other argument is that he's a giant ape man, and he just randomly walks around the mountains. See, I don't believe it because we've never found a carcass. We've never you know, found you know a why? carcass. You know why? Because every time they die, they automatically dissipate into the other realm. That's why we never find a carcass. 
That's so stupid. Dang. That's why. That's why we never find the carcass. <laughs> That's why we never <laughs> find the carcass. Did you just use the word dissipate? Yeah, dissipate. That's a Magic the Gathering term. <laughs> really? Yeah, dissipate. Anyways, Magic the Gathering. Yeah, that's a magic the gathering term really yeah dissipate anyways no, I don't believe it because the, the thing is, if Bigfoot exists, and let's just hypothetically say that he does, if we have a body, that me- that means, and I'm not listening to Tanner's demon dimension whole exorcism okay. of okay. Emily okay. Rose All little right. theory, but in, in, the, in the concept of thing, that means that they bury their dead, and that's what we haven't found yet. Right. That's the argument I've heard over and over again. If they are smart enough to bury their dead, first off, why? And second off, if they do, then how far away are they from being human? Or if they eat their dead, they eat the bones and all. They eat the bones and all? It's a giant ape, man. Apes, like, they've been known to crack bones. And, and where's their poop? They don't know. poop? They bury their poop? Then why can't we find their poop? Why aren't they, like, Bigfoot turds that we're digging up all the time? Oh, they've got bones in it and stuff. Never seen these bones for. Wolves eat bones all the time. And they yeah, they have... poop them. No, oh, they digest half of them. <laughs> and what about the other half? I mean, well, okay. Okay. All right, listen. listen. <laughs> he digests all them. Listen. <laughs> even we his don't teeth. know. He even eats his teeth. <laughs> we don't know what kind of, like, you know what? They could poop. Like, we poop in uh, toilets. You ain't out here walking pooping down the road. <laughs> Bigfoot toilet. What the crap? Bigfoot, like, they, they might live in caves. Poop they, in rivers. And, like, they could poop in a river yeah, and wash all... their butt at the same time. <laughs> They could poop in a cave. Because we've never got a picture of a Bigfoot just leaning over a brook. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just hot dogging that thing. <laughs> With a few pine cones and throwing it in the river. That is away. awesome. That is an awesome image to think of. <laughs> Anyways, he could, he could poop in a cave. And that's what we hadn't found. Said, if there's places on this earth we ain't been here, Nick. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we found a bunch of caves now. That's true, but well, we all, had, only the caves we found are the ones he's not hiding in. Right, <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe like there's a giant fucking rock, and he moves the rock out of the way and goes in the cave and moves it back, and then he's done. Nobody's, the e- nobody's ever been around when he moves. Seven no, rocks. he makes sure of it. <laughs> How does he look through the cave? He's got super hearing. He can hear better than we can. We so he's like... I should have said I wanted Bigfoot power on the daggum superpower Should one. have. Should have. <laughs> I can, Trump's I, everything. I hot dog over brooks. I move big old rocks. I got yeah. super hearing. Travel dimensions. Yeah. It was Dr. Strange's shame, man. And it does, yeah. Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot, man. That's my Okay, hero. so so what did, if, 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 if you... Could imagine a real life Bigfoot. What would you say he was? Well, it's probably what everybody says. The tall ape looking man, kind of humanoid. So it's an ape. You believe it's a giant kind, monkey. Kind of. I mean, possibly, but that's what everyone always describes. I'm not coming up with my own idea of what he looks like. I'm telling you, okay. that's what uh, number one right. most people so, describe a large, so, smelly, ape like creature. I'm asking you, what do you think? I don't think he's real. Then what would you. What are pictures of him then? I, they've either been faked or it was something else they were mistaken on what like they what? Well, I don't know I mean there's there's there TV been, shows there Nick there's TV, there's TV shows there's TV shows is that what there is there's TV shows Nick and in those TV shows they're hunting for Bigfoot and they're finding they gotta find the big feet <laughs> no they haven't found him yet <laughs> they ain't found him yet because he can you, move you got, eight, you got eight 46 year old men running around the woods sleeping <laughs> huddling each other for warmth at night it's because they can move in and out in the other dimensions Nick. then how come there's no biblical or Quranic or Judeo or any, Hindu or anything that's ever talked about these creatures right <laughs> mean right if they exist how come nobody's ever talked about them May, because see that's Maybe because, they, because see, they no, live no, no, in caves. you're not listening you're not listening see now in all those things <laughs> they, they poop in caves in, in all those religious things that you were talking about they all believe in some sort of demon and that's what people are arguing that bigfoot is is a type of demon that's why it's humanoid looking but not human it's a demon them, them, they're not possessing anything. What are they doing when they're just walking around hot dogging over brooks and stuff? I don't know what they're doing. They could be getting ready for the end of time, for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what I look like a preacher? I don't know what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, like they could be walking down that creek right there because there's something important in that creek, <laughs> and they're looking for it. 
I, it's just okay. So if you want to talk, look at it from that perspective. Hey, Jupiter. I mean, it's just, it's very unlikely that of all the religions on the planet, right. native and otherwise, well, which is wrong because the Cherokee did think uh-huh. there was in theirs. Yeah. But <sighs> majority of the world is that religion died off. The majority of the world, there's nothing that talks about these creatures in any of the other ones. Possibly there is now. Nick, there's TV shows about it because people seen it. People seen the big feet. <laughs> the big feet have been seen. And you know what? Fifty years from now, we could be looking back being like, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my wife's gonna be proud of this one. I'm gonna pull Holly and say, the world has an image of a dragon everywhere they go. Are those real too? I believe they used to be. Dragons? Huh? What? Which kind? Because they because they're different in Asia compared to like North America compared to like Europe. I believe that dragons were around during like the time of dinosaurs. It's essentially just a, a fucking lizard with a fucking <laughs> wings. Like I'm not saying that breathing fucking like and fire comes out, but like I believe that the a dragon was you're at, like you're at three. Say it a few more times. I'll keep counting. what. <laughs> Dragon? <laughs> yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Like I don't I don't believe that like they're breathing fire, but I believe it was like a giant lizard with wings that could fly, which is pretty badass, but like w- there's dinosaur bones, we're we finding new animals all the time. How would we have record of that? What are you talking about? We don't have records of dinosaurs. Well, yeah, the, they have drawn yeah, but they weren't drawing dinosaurs on tapestries and stuff. But they were drawing dragons that they just You know what I'm what, what if they found what if they found dinosaur bones and thought it was dragons? I mean, that very well could <laughs> could be a thing, a but thing. they drew them with <laughs> wings for a reason. I'm just saying. So, I mean, you, so you think that there never was like a dragon? No, animal. I think they found dinosaur bones back in the day and to explain it, they were like, it was a dragon. Okay, but so. Because that's one thing. They why would, found why would they just. We're not talking about Big V. Why would they just give it wings? Because they found a bunch of bones next to it. Maybe the way that maybe two creatures died on top of each other and the way they were laying together, it looked like it had wings. Or maybe it like had a rib wings. Cage. Maybe it had wings. An unidentified dinosaur that had wings that we've never been able to piece together correctly. Maybe. Maybe they were also interdimensional demons. <laughs> maybe they were only. Maybe they're only. Maybe the big feet and the dragons were at war with each other and the big feet maybe, won. That's why there's maybe, no dragon sightings anymore. But maybe. They, that dragons were only in like Asia, and the no, Asian is government is covering it up. So maybe they still got dragons, and that's how they're gonna overtake us, Nick. That's, that's they're gonna I'm... overtake us with the dragons and the big feet. No, because we got the big feet. That's what Scenario Fifty One still. That's what we got feet. the big feet. Yeah, that's why and they still going. got dragons. Well, I'm convinced now. Area Fifty One's got big feet. North Korea's got dragons. Yeah, that's that's why that's, they ain't worried about our nukes. Like, my be. dragon will eat your nukes. I ain't worried about it. Spit the fire back at you. That's that's what World War Three is gonna look like: flying, fire breathing dragons and big feet fighting each other. Big feet. <laughs> look like Planet of the Apes Woo. meets the Ring of Fire. All right. Well, <laughs> there went my impression of uh, what's his face that just got kicked off all the platforms. What's his name? Oh, the dude, uh, the conspiracy theorist guy, yeah. man on Facebook. Oh, yeah, I don't remember. His name. I never watched him. I didn't know his name. He talks like this. I heard he's talking about like gay monkeys or something. Like I don't know. Dude. They're turning the fish gay. Or the, the frogs. They're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> what was his name? I don't, I don't care. Oh, man. <laughs> he said, oh, they're turning the frogs gay. Man, uh, uh, that would have been a dude to bring on the stock show. I too. know. Yeah. He I was... loved having Steve, but if we could have got that going here, I want to hear about the gay frogs. Yeah. Oh man! Turning the frogs. Gay. <laughs> it's the big feet. Was I know the big feet. Turning the frogs. Oh. Gay. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh. This is this has been a, a huge like conspiracy theorist video. That's kind of what it's turned. We're into. obviously it's taking this us so seriously. having fun and um, but seriously though, big feet are real, and they're they're living in the north, east, west, south world, United States. <laughs> And uh, they're going to eat your children if you don't let them, like, not run out in the woods. And then, like, has this sentence made any sense? No. Good. <laughs> I was trying to make it not make sense. <laughs> Passed on. Um, oh, tense, God. wise, phone, lamp, love. 
Glenn. So we're ending this video. <laughs> as, as You're I'm just like, trying to literally wait to eat the 15 minute mark. <laughs> Duck, phone, lamp, coke can, <laughs> lights, camera, 15. Thanks for watching this, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, do you have anything else you'd like to I say about Big to say. I'm just going to say this is the right. silliest damn this video we've ever done. This has probably been my favorite. <laughs> Um, all right, guys. Um, thanks for coming along. This week was kind of crazy and didn't make a lot of sense. But uh, a little behind the scenes spoiler: this cup's only full for the first one. After that, it's, our tanner doesn't refill. No free mine, refills here. <laughs> mine just became empty. Um, so, thanks for coming along, guys. Um, if you're on YouTube, give it a big like and uh, comment and subscribe. If you're on Anchor or any other podcast where you're consuming this. Uh, Think about uh, Very leaving a review. hard to consume there, wasn't it? Yeah. Think about leaving okay. a review and uh, applause or subscribe and all that good jizz. And we'll see you next Monday at 8 a.m. Y'all take care. <laughs>